Hey guys, it's Shan here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can go ahead and set up Voice Meter Banana with OBS to start streaming or recording with multiple audio tracks. So let's get started. So the first thing you guys want to have is Voice Meter Banana installed. So over here, this is what you guys get over here. Once you guys have Voice Meter Banana installed, the first thing you guys will have to do is also install the cable audio output if you guys want to output discord into another separate track also what is very helpful for other uses other than game sound and your mic with discord so you guys can edit precisely if anything were to happen on private information being shared throughout your stream you guys can lower out the volume or completely mute it out in a recording so over here you guys will first have to set up your a1 a2 and a3 over here you guys can just have to use one and that's going to be a1 over here as you guys can see hardware out you guys just want to go ahead and click on that and the only ones you guys should be worrying about is wdm and mme it depends on your drivers over here so over here i chose my headphones with wdm because there is no significant difference but if you guys are hearing grain from one uh, a little bit of audio grain go ahead and select the other one and if you guys have multiple different uh, speaker setups just go ahead and select your other ones if you guys want but if you guys made a mistake device selection not that that would really actually matter now over here you guys have a hardware input as you guys go, can see over here, and you just want to choose whatever microphone over here, I would at least recommend that. So over here, I chose my microphone, and you guys can just leave that as is for now. You guys also, for the cable input, will go to the Discord part later. And over here, we will see the virtual inputs over here, and this is how you guys mainly want to set this up. So your desktop audio, what you will realize, will actually switch to the voice meter input vb audio voice meter bio uh setup what is different from anything so make sure you guys go ahead and click on playback devices scroll down and make sure it's your actual default from there uh all desktop sounds will go through here and for you guys to hear it you guys want to select the speaker you want your desktop audio to go through for example for me it is my headphones and you, this is optional, you guys don't really have to click anything over here until we get into that later. Um, for the Discord audio that you guys might be wondering, you guys want to select the cable output over here, what you guys can see that I have chose over here because this will make another track for your Discord audio as you guys can go ahead and see over here. What you guys will want to do is open up Discord click on user settings, click on voice and video, and over here you guys can see my microphone is the standard microphone and it is not the voice meter banana one that I have put in here. I will show you guys how to do that later if you guys want. And you guys can see the cable input over here. I redirect all my sound through there. But either way, I could hear no matter what, as you guys can see, if I were to go on Discord, I'll still be able to hear all the sounds through here because it passes through here and there's no sounds going through discord right now so you it's quite empty right now as you guys can see no other sounds other than my mic itself and that's why this track will not pick up anything it's just for you to hear so you guys will want to click on a1 so you guys can go ahead and hear everything that's actually going through your discord audio and that will allow everything to pass through directly to OBS when we set it up and the next thing you guys want to set up is your microphone this is quite optional but a lot of people do like doing that as it is beneficial on editing your voice a little bit uh, to fine-tune how you want people to listen or if there's little errors with your microphone to change it so over here as you guys can see you guys just want to check off which microphone you guys are using over here you guys have the voice control panel as you guys can see you guys can change it from low to high to more echoey and if you right click on it you guys get a little bit different sound effects over here and right click it on again you guys can get the right to left values as you guys will be able to tell and double click to reset you guys also have a compression over here and gate now these are if you guys would like to edit stuff like if you want you have to set up the gate and when I stop speaking you guys will hear a grain for example 
as you guys can see the mic was still picking up stuff and that's because there is still background sound and what the gate actually does is every time you stop speaking for a certain amount of time it will just remove that background sound completely and this is just to make your voice sound a little bit better as you guys can fine-tune it to your liking uh, I just set those to zero as it doesn't really matter as you guys can do that in post but some people change it around depends on your mic everything over here and over here I selected B2 because I wanted to go to the B2 section over here and since I want it to be captured by OBS in some way because it won't be able to be captured like this I put it through the voice meter aux over here which is completely empty you will never see this bar leveler actually going up it will just capture it and this will just send it over there as an audio track over here next thing you guys want to go ahead and do is open up OBS itself and click on the settings icon from here you guys will want to go to audio and set everything up so the first thing you guys will want to do is select voice meter input over here as you guys can see it's already selected that's for my desktop speakers so this will just go to my headphones directly and it's able to pick it up the desktop audio device 2 is most likely going to be your discord audio like I set up over here it goes through the cable input so it's going to be able to capture anything that is said through discord and still be able to push it out onto my headphones without a problem and also you guys have your microphone so over here I didn't select my actual mic like I did on discord itself I selected the voice meter aux output what as you guys can see is over here as you'll get all the modifications that you did where you can boost anything manually that you guys did and that's up to you now also you guys can go ahead and change the sample rate and stereo depending on your system and setup so over here you guys also want to go to output so under recording you guys if you guys are doing a desktop mic and discord setup you guys will just need three tracks just go ahead and click on those three tracks over there the first three and click on apply and okay when you guys are done after that you guys will want to click on any one of these three settings icons and click on advanced audio properties over here you guys will get a little bit more fine tuning now I did manually name these so keep in mind that so uh, the first track will just be the game slash desktop sound over here the second audio track will just be my discord audio and the third one will just be my microphone and you guys will always want to leave one track over here some people do it one you guys can do it for anything I just left it on six over here all of them check marked so when you guys are streaming you guys just select track six and everything will just be picked up over there and you guys can manually edit that through voice meter banana itself when you guys are streaming you guys want to mute something just completely tone it down and problem is done but that is how you guys go ahead and set it up and now I will show you guys what I mean when it is actually all said and done how it works and everything so over here I will be jumping into Sony Vegas 15 Pro as it doesn't really matter which editor you guys go ahead and choose I use Premiere Pro with it Sony Vegas it doesn't really actually matter whichever one you choose it will still work so going right into it over here you guys can go ahead and check out the video so over here I will load up an older video so as you guys can go ahead and see it is loading up three audio tracks over here and it is just building the peaks for it right now so this is when me and my friends were playing some game over here it's golf it if you guys have ever heard of it and over here you guys can see there will be different audio tracks now you guys will be able to hear my game sound from my mic and that is because these headphones do capture the mic sound uh, the head the game sound the desktop sound through the mic for some random reason if you guys have a dedicated mic setup that shouldn't happen but it works perfectly fine either way so jumping into a part further just for you guys to hear the sound difference so I just feel it's like horrible. over here I'm if sure. I no, aim center cancel out like oh my, God. 
my own voice. Wait, I might still get it. I now might still you can get it. only hear my friend, for example. I but I if I uh, hire up my no, voice, now you guys can hear it. Yeah, I can not want to hear my uh, friend anymore. Now good, you can't so, hear him nice, anymore. Nice. But oh my God. I can show him again. I don't want you guys to hear the game sound, for example. I just lower down the game sound, and you guys won't hear it anymore, depending on whatever you guys want. If you guys only want to hear the game sound, you guys will only hear the game sound from there. But that again is up to you guys and how you guys set it up, particularly to your own setup. So depending on what hardware you guys have, you guys shouldn't have the issue of, like I said, the audio leaking. But as you guys can see over here, it did have a little bit of audio leaking. Uh, over here, it shouldn't have though. Yeah, it doesn't. But that's practically how it works. So you guys can manually customize everything out if you didn't want your friend saying something or you have to censor it out you guys can do it very easily with more than one audio track but that's all for the video today guys that's how you guys use voice meter banana with obs to stream and record with ease with multiple audio track and that is how you guys use voice meter banana Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys go ahead and click on that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.